Well, he's out. Why on earth do you get so nervous if the boy goes out? Why? Because it's simply pouring. Why couldn't the boy go out once in a while? What have you been saying? What does that have to do with it? You're so uncontrolled these I'm days. I'm certainly not uncontrolled these days, but even if I were, what does that have to do with the boy being Oh, you the know that they listen. So what? So what? What if he tells tales? You know what's drilled into them at the Hitler Youth. They're under orders to report everything. It's strange he left so quietly. Nonsense. Didn't you notice it? when he'd left? He was at the window quite a while. I wonder what he overheard. He knows what happens to people who get denounced. And what of the boy the Schmolks told about? His father must be in that concentration camp still. I just wonder how long he was at the window. That's all nonsense. It isn't like him to just go off without saying a word. He's probably at some school friends. In that case, he can only be at the Mummermans. I'll phone. This is Miss Studentrat Fjörki. Good afternoon, Miss Mummerman. Is Klaus Heinrich at your place? He isn't. Well, I just can't think of where that boy may be. Tell me, Miss Mummerman. Is the Club for Hitler Youth open on Sunday afternoons? It is. Thanks. I'll, I'll try them. What could he have? have overheard after all. It was you who said that about the papers. It was you who was talking about the brown house. And what am I said about the brown house? Oh, you could not have forgotten that it's not clean. <laughs> that, that cannot be interpreted as an attack, to say it's not clean, or, or as a more moderately put it, not quite clean, which certainly makes a difference. It makes a considerable difference. Why? That's more of a jocular observation, idiomatic and popular. It's a, a colloquialism. It means little more than probably. Even then, something is not always under all circumstances as a fear her wishes it. I intentionally indicated the mere probable character of my allegations by using the expression, it may not be all quite. Quite in a mild sense clean. That was my formulation of the, the matter. Maybe, not is. I can't say anything there is not clean. There is no proof. But wherever there are men, there are, there are imperfections. The Fuhrer himself has said much of the same great deal, a bit more sharp. I don't understand. You don't have to speak this way to I me. I wish I did it. I'm not sure what you yourself say in a, in a way of gossip about the things you've heard between these four walls. Insignificant things, probably only said in a moment of excitement. Naturally, I'm not, I'm not, a, I'm, I'm not accusing you. I'm spinning frivolous tales about your husband. And not for a moment in what I assume the boy would say anything against his father. There's a point of distinction between Doing wrong and knowing that you do it. Now please stop, watch your tongue. It was you who said that one cannot live in Hitler's Germany. And I'm trying to think if that was before or after what you said about the brown house. I said nothing about the brown house. You go on as if I were the police. I just want to know what the boy may have overheard. It's that which tortures me. The expression, Hitler's Germany? does not exist in my vocabulary. And what you just recently said about the papers and what you just said about the brown house and what you said about civil defense, the boy here's nothing positive at all. That can't be good for him. Young minds can only be perverted by such talk. The Fuhrer himself has said that Germany's youth is Germany's future. The boy just doesn't go on and turn informer. And I feel bad. <laughs> 